Yo, what is up guys? It is Vades. I know it's been a while since the last upload, but I am back and clearly louder than ever with my first voiceover on a video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create low poly Roblox terrain using Blender. With this method, you can easily pump out terrain assets to quickly build a really nice looking map without the game getting too laggy. And with enough practice, you could be pumping out meshes every three minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Blender. Right away we're going to delete the cube, the light, and the camera to get those out of the way. Next we're going to create a plane by pressing Shift A, go into Mesh and selecting Plane. After that go into Edit Mode by pressing Tab and with your mouse near any edge of the plane, press Ctrl R to create an edge loop. Click once to position the loop and then click again to set it. We're going to repeat this process several times until the plane is divided to our liking. Be sure to remember that the more subdivisions you have, the more polys the final mesh will have. At this point we're going to use the Move tool to select vertices to shape the terrain piece to our desired shape. Keep in mind to not create super inverted angles because they will create weird collision holes as seen here. Once our shape is created, press A to select all points. Once everything is selected, we're going to hit E to extrude the plane to a preferred depth. Once it's low enough, we're going to press S to scale the selected points. Hold shift to make a finer scale and drag the mouse to scale it. Alright, so we're just going to repeat the process just a couple more times. We're going to hit E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude S to scale until we get the proper shape that we desire. So at this point we pretty much have our completed terrain piece. So before we export it we're going to click A and then we're going to click Control N to recalculate the outside normals. So this piece is the main piece of the two part mesh that we're going to create. This is the main and the second one's the uh, grass. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file, we're going to go to export and we're going to choose either FBX or OBJ. After that we're going to go into the name and we're going to name it something like mountain, terrain, whatever. Put a number after it to signify which one it is and then we're going to start working on the grass piece of the mesh. So to start the grass piece we're going to move our camera down so the top is flat. We're going to click this little button here and then we're going to press B to use the border select tool to select all the bottom points. We can press X to delete and now we have our original shape. To make the grass piece we're going to repeat the previous process we're going to hit a to select all hit e to extrude then s to scale it down we're only going to do this process once once again we're going to press a and then Control n to flip the normals and then we're going to go ahead and export this once again we're going to go up to file export and then choose either fbx or obj and we're just going to name this one the first one but then we're just going to put a g after it to signify that's the grass piece so quick save that and now we're going to continue with the roblox studio portion of this process so once we're on our blank base plate we're going to go ahead and right click go to insert object and find mesh part. Once the mesh part is spawned in, we're going to go up to it. We're going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Once it's duplicated, we're going to select one of the two parts. It doesn't really matter. After that, you're going to go to properties, click the little folder icon to open up the mesh. The first mesh that we're going to open is the original mountain part. Chances are when you do this, you're going to get a couple prompts. So you're going to click no to this one, no to this one. Give studio a quick moment and then the mesh should spawn in. Once we got the big piece down, we're going to go ahead, go into the shape, find the other mesh part, hit the little folder icon again, and then select the grass piece. Once again, chances are you're going to have a little prompt pop up, so you're just going to click no to that. Right away, we're going to try to go ahead and scale it to the top so it looks like it's just sitting on top of it. Once we got the grass piece nicely sitting on top of the mountain part, we're going to go ahead and name the grass piece grass, and then we're going to go ahead and name the mountain piece. Let's just call it mountain for now. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and select both, and we're going to make sure that the parts are anchored and then we're going to color them. So the top one is obviously grass. We're going to make it green. We're going to give it the grass. And then the second one, we're going to make it whatever color, stony, whatever, and get it to slate. So once we have them properly colored, named and anchored, we're going to go ahead and select both and we're going to group them together. Typically, I would name the model like terrain or something. I just forgot to in this video, but that's that's basically it for this video. Now, the rest of this video is basically going to be a little time lapse of me building a little scene using only the mesh parts. And I'm going to go ahead and create just a couple more mesh parts using Blender using the same exact process that I just showed you in the video. Purpose of the speed build is to show you how beautiful of maps that you can build using only these mesh parts. Honestly, I just prefer mesh parts to unions. I've been building for a long time and I've always been sticking with unions, but I got into mesh parts and it's just blown me away on why I didn't learn the skill before because the thing I like about mesh parts is that you can scale it non-proportionally, whereas in unions, if you scale it, it's going to get bigger on all sides. Whereas mesh parts, you can scale it left, right, up, down, wherever, and it's just really nice. 
but yeah once again that's basically it for this video just enjoy the rest of this time lapse if there's anything that you want to see me do in the future anything you want to learn just let me know in the comments be sure to drop a like share the video and hell if you feel generous enough go ahead and subscribe for future content and click the notification bell because why not and again this is my first ever voiceover on a video so if you like hearing these types of voiceover videos be sure to tell me in the comments shout out to ivy main and x registers for giving me multiple tips throughout this process i know it was really difficult for me to finally use my voice but here you go and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out